Hi, and welcome back. This is Kevin Smith with First Team Real Estate here in Southern California. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the costs that are associated with having a pool. But before we get to our topic, I'd like to go over a couple things here on the blog. If you're searching for a home, you can hit the home search button. And if you're looking to find the value of your home, hit the home evaluation button. Now back to our topic. So when looking for a house to buy, one of the main things you're going to have to consider is the cost. Now there's many different costs, but the main cost is going to be the actual construction of the pool. If you're looking to purchase a house that already has the pool, then you don't have to worry about the actual building. I had a client that was going to add a pool and it was going to cost an upwards of $80,000 to have it constructed. So one of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to pull permits. Permits with the city, making sure that you can have a pool and how big is that pool going to be or just purchasing a house that already has the pool with all the permits already pulled. Another cost thing you're going to have to think about is the actual maintenance of the, of the pool. So you're gonna either have a chlorine pool or you're gonna have a saltwater pool. You're either gonna have um, a maintenance person that's gonna be cleaning it for you or you'll have equipment that'll scrub the sides and do the chlorine for you also. Some of those other costs you'll have to consider are the water bills, the electricity run the pump, and even the special features. There's might be a slide, a diving board, a jacuzzi that's added, um, those types of things you'll have to consider also. So thank you for joining us today. Again, my name is Kevin Smith with First Team Real Estate. And if you have any buying or selling needs, feel free to reach out to, my, to me. My contact information is below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.